Welcome to the Flying Techniques module of the A320 RNP AR eLearning. The objectives of this module are to study the following flying techniques. 1. Speed constraints and the use of managed versus selected speed. 2. Influence of speed and wind on the bank angle. 3. FMA monitoring at go-around. 4. The use of autopilot regarding RNP value. And 5. A precaution for the use of direct to. On the next page we will download a small video. Please be patient if it takes a little while to reach you. Departure procedures may contain waypoints with speed constraints for various reasons. A speed constraint is matched when the aircraft overflies the waypoint with a speed equal or less than the speed constraint. Speed constraints may delay the flap retraction sequence and the acceleration of the aircraft. Imagine an RNP AR departure with a 200 knots speed constraint. When flying with managed speed, the flight guidance law will not allow the aircraft to fly below the current maneuvering speed, for example, G dot, S, or F speed, regardless of the managed speed target. In this example, the flight crew retract the flaps as per normal. Because the flight guidance law does not allow the aircraft to fly below the G dot speed of 220 knots, the speed constraint is not matched. The flight crew needs to know the manoeuvring speeds before departure and the value of the speed constraints on the departure route and delay the flap retraction accordingly. In this second example, the pilot flying maintains configuration 1 and has selected S speed in order to match the speed constraint of 200 knots. When the speed constraint is sequenced, he pushes the speed knob to manage the speed and retracts the flap in sequence. Note that in this example, the pilot flying could have continued in manage speed as the speed constraint was above S speed. When flying in selected speed, it is crew responsibility to match the speed constraints assigned to the waypoints of a procedure by selecting the proper speed on the FCU and making sure the aircraft is in a suitable flap configuration to fly at this speed. The bank angle along an RF leg depends upon the radius of the RF leg the aircraft ground speed and the drift angle. A local or statistical wind model is taken into account during procedure design. Consequently, a speed constraint is often assigned at the entry point of a tight radius to fixed leg in descent. This speed limit allows the autopilot to guide the aircraft along the RF leg with LDEV centered, with the maximum autopilot permitted bank angle in nav mode. 
for example 30 degrees in the case of very strong winds. Note, in climb the speed constraint is assigned at the exit point of the RF leg. The alerting envelope of the Terrain Awareness and Warning System, TORS, is partly based on ground speed along with other factors. In some specific cases, speed constraints are assigned to certain waypoints in order to prevent TORS warnings and to limit the potential of cautions being given. Additionally, speed constraints might also be assigned to waypoints in order to assist the crew in descent energy management. For example, steeper paths and approach configuration management. The operational recommendations for RF legs are Observe the speed constraints in RF legs. Pay attention to strong winds, in particular to high tail and or crosswinds. Monitor LDEV or cross track and the aircraft bank angle when it's approaching 30 degrees, which is the maximum permitted bank angle by the autopilot flight director in nav mode. On the next page, we will download a small video. Please be patient if it takes a little while to reach you. When selecting TOGA, especially in a turn, NAV must be immediately engaged in order to stay inside the operational limit. A modification of the aircraft systems has been introduced with FMS release 1A which automatically arms the NAV mode when TOGA is selected. If NAV does not engage automatically, then engage it manually. For RNP AR operation, with RNP lower than 0.3, the use of the autopilot is mandatory. During a RNP AR procedure, the use of direct to is not recommended as the resulting direct to fix leg is not part of the RNP AR procedure. A direct to clearance may be envisaged only above minimum sector altitude if needed. When performing a direct to towards the first waypoint of an RNP AR procedure, for example, an initial approach fix. Use the direct to radial in lateral revision in order for the aircraft to sequence this waypoint with a track properly aligned with the RNP AR first leg course. Thus, the aircraft will fly this first RNP AR leg with LDEV centred within the operational limit. Do not descend below MSA until established on the RNP AR procedure trajectory with LDEV centred within the operational limit. Direct to the final approach fix or to a waypoint followed by an RF turn is not authorised. We have now studied the following flying techniques. Speed constraints and the use of managed versus selected speed. The influence of speed and wind on the bank angle. FMA monitoring at go around. The use of autopilot regarding RNP value and a precaution for the use of direct two.